um, after all these years. Don't know what happened, really. But one of the things that I tried to do was to use a different process every time so that I wouldn't repeat myself, so I wouldn't go over the same ground that I did last song and whatever. So some songs might have had a really interesting keyboard sound that I'd start playing with and that was fascinating. A really good drum beat that I've heard in somebody else's song and nicked. <coughs> Don't tell them. And, um, but sometimes too, and very rarely, um, most of the time, 95% of the time, I'd write the music first and the lyrics. On a couple of occasions, including Great Southern Land, I actually wrote the words first, which is unusual for me. And um, uh, sometimes it was a sort of, I'm setting myself an academic exercise. And I woke up on this particular morning, um, just to give you an idea of how weird stuff that goes on in my brain, and I had this idea and I thought, well, it might sound really interesting if, um, if I wrote a chorus, and in the words of the chorus, that the last word of the first line of the chorus became the first word of the next line. And the last word of that line became the first word of the third line. The last word of that one became the first word of the fourth line. So I'll give you, I'll, I'll tell you what it is so you can actually, because that's where it started from and it was, and it had a certain sound about it, which started the whole song going straight away. And that was the quickest song I ever wrote. I'll, I'll give you the second part of the chorus. It goes, and I can see See through the years, years of a man, a man of colors. And that's how it works. Now, I'm not going to sing it that song yet. And the other thing, the other thing was that, that drove me insane, it was incredibly frustrating, was that I always wanted to be one, like one of the people I admired who wrote really simple songs. Like I love T-Rex because Mark Wallen wrote incredibly simple songs. And I could never do it. You know, it was, it was ended up complicated. So this particular day, I sat down and went, okay, here's another one. Another one that writes really simple songs, fantastic songs, Bob Dylan, three chords, you know. So I was intent, and I was intent on this particular day of doing that with an acoustic guitar and nothing else. In fact, there is a recording of this song with an acoustic guitar and a single tom tom somewhere in the archives. I haven't dug it out for years, but of course, when it was finished, um, I turned it into another epic ice house <laughs> million keyboards <laughs> thing, and you'd know it as that. But I'm going to do it today. And the other, the other picture I had in my mind was okay. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is a cowboy. He had a he had a uh, a cameo. Alex the Smoke is killing me, man. <laughs> um, Bob Dylan had a cameo um, um, movie role as a character called Alias in a movie, a western called Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. So I had this picture in my head of Bob Dylan's song and a cowboy. And I had, and when I wrote it, I wrote it, you know, as if Bob Dylan had might have written it, as a you know, cowboy story, and it sort of went. Yeah, that one mistake was born. You talk to 